Take a deep breath and let your spirit settle into this moment by focusing your thoughts. You access the power of the universe and activate one of the most powerful universal laws, the law of attraction. For just 17 seconds, hold a positive thought that resonates with your true self. Feel the energy building within you as you align with the infinite abundance of the universe. Here in this environment, you awaken to your true potential and become one with your divine source. The energy around you is pure and powerful, and you are fully attuned to it. You have allowed yourself to be distracted by the outside world, but now you are back in alignment with your inner being. You have been brought here fast because you are in tune with the divine frequency. You have lit up this space with your presence, and we are honored to be in your presence. You are a beacon of light, and it is time for you to shine. You have just awakened to the possibilities of the universe, and it is time for you to maintain that high afal, ying vibration. You have the power within you to attract everything you desire, so take a moment to focus on the issue that matters most to you. Contemplate it with love, faith, and gratitude, and watch as the universe responds with abundance. I would like to share with you one thing that can transform your life. The connection is what truly matters. I understand that you have been working hard to solve your problems, but if you can sustain the connection for a little while, the problem will evaporate in T. He absence of the vibration of the problem within you. It cannot continue to be your experience, so the subject doesn't matter. What matters is the alignment. It may be hard to hear this, but you must understand that you have been practicing the vibration of resistance by trying too hard. The more you resist, the louder you ask and the harder you try, the more you practice the vibration of resistance. Therefore, you just have to let go of the things that you want, but haven't been coming. Stop using what you, you want as an excuse to not feel good in doing so, you will allow yourself to align with the source of all things by letting go. You will begin to feel the relief that comes with the suspension of momentum. It's like waking up and being in vibrational alignment. Understand that your point of attraction is the alignment that you hold. Trust the process and let the universe take care of the details. Let us dive into the beautiful concept of your point of attraction as a creator of your own reality. You are he in charge of the energy you emit, and the law of attraction responds to that vibration. It's only natural to then understand that you're standing in a habit of thought, a pattern of vibration that attracts your experiences. That's your point of attraction. If you are always in fear, your point of attraction is far from what you truly want. If you worry or doubt, your point of attraction doesn't align with your desires. Your emotions are your guide indicating where your vibration stands, your physical bow. Die is a mere extension of the non-physical eternal part of you that we like to call your soul or God force. It's the vibrational nature of that eternal part of you that is your true essence. You are intricately tied to that part of you, and it adores you. Even when you're not feeling your best, your eternal part loves and supports you unconditionally. But when you separate yourself from that love by choosing thoughts that don't feel good, you create a vibrational variance. And if you practice that long, enough, it becomes a habit of vibration that can affect your entire life. So to attract the life you truly desire, you need to align yourself with your true vibrational nature. This powerful force is like a swirling energetic state of being that manifests as a vibrational disc. Imagine it like the seven dwarves with names like grumpy, unhappy, dysfunctional, and passive-aggressive. If you analyze yourself fully, you can discover over 200 of these dwarfs within yourself and others recognizing them as though. HT habits and vibrational patterns that reflect where we tend to be emotionally. But here's the key. Whatever emotional state you habitually occupy becomes your point of attraction. If you frequently feel hopeful, but don't truly believe the universe will respond accordingly. If you find yourself in despair or discouragement, you'll continue to attract more of the same. This isn't some abstract concept. It's a very real and tangible experience that you can observe in your own life. But the good news is, T. 
Hat you have the power to choose your disc, to deliberately select the emotional state and subject that align with your desires, this choice then determines your point of attraction and the universe responds accordingly. So be mindful of your thoughts and emotions and intentionally choose those that bring you joy, peace and alignment. Remember you are a powerful creator and your point of attraction is the key to manifesting the reality you truly desire as you contemplate about money relationships or any subject that matters to you. It's crucial to note where you stand on the vibrational scale. Are you feeling hopeful and optimistic or are you engulfed in despair and negativity? Your emotions serve as a powerful indicator of your point of attraction, which is essentially a swirling vibrational disc that responds to your thoughts and feelings. Here's a revelation that I'd like to emphasize. Choose the disc based on how it feels, not solely on the subject matter. For example, longing for a relationship that you've never experienced may bring feelings of loneliness and absence, which is a vastly different vibrational place than joy. Thus, it's paramount to shift your focus towards the vibrational end of the stick that embodies what you want, rather than what you lack. Every subject has a vibrational stick with two ends, one representing what you desire and the other end signifying the absence of it. To set a goal that aligns with your desires, you must pick a subject where you've been practicing positive V vibrations, and that makes you feel good. Remember, it's not about the length of the stick, whether it's a big long stick or a short stick, but rather the vibrational nature of the subject. By consciously aligning your thoughts and emotions with what you want, you will attract more of it into your reality. Sometimes it's easy to slip into negative thinking patterns, even when it comes to seemingly small things. However, it's essential to realize that every thought matters, and it's up to you to choose the egg. Thoughts that serve you faced with a noisy disturbance. You may have two thoughts, one of annoyance and one of joy. By choosing the thought that makes you feel good, you will be able to direct your energy towards positivity and appreciation, attracting more of the same into your life. Remember that every thought and feeling is like a stick with two ends. One end is what you want, and the other is what you don't want by focusing on what you want and practicing thoughts that make you feel good. You can align yourself with the energy of abundance and joy. It's not about struggling or forcing yourself to think positively. It's about choosing thoughts that come naturally and effortlessly to you as you go about your day. Pay attention to your thoughts and feelings. Choose the disc that feels good to you and watch as life responds in kind with practice. You can train your mind to naturally gravitate towards positivity and abundance, creating a life filled with joy and fulfillment. The power of your thoughts and feelings is immense, and when you learn to tap into this power to focus your attention on the positive aspects of your life, to feel good, to feel joy and enthusiasm, your entire world will transform in the most amazing ways you see. It's all about the vibration you're emitting. Every thought, every feeling, every emotion carries a unique vibration, and the universe in all its infinite wisdom is always matching your vibration, bringing you more of what you're emitting. That's why it's so important to pay attention to how you're feeling, to choose thoughts and emotions that feel good, that uplift you, that make you feel happy and alive when you do this. You're sustaining your vibration long enough that everything in your universe has to join you where you are. And that's when the magic happens. When you're in this high vibrational state, you become a magnet for all the good things you desire. Opportunities, people, experiences, abundance, they all flow effortlessly into your life. So my friend, take a moment to bask in the feeling of comfort and joy that surrounds you right now. Focus on the pillows on the coziness of the bed on the feeling of being in tune with your body. Feel the happiness and contentment welling up inside you. Then hold that feeling for 17 seconds, and then another and another and another practice this every day. And before you know it, your life will be transformed in ways you never thought possible. You'll look back and wonder how you ever lived any other way as you maintain this positive.
E-focus more and more thoughts that align with your new vibration will join you creating a powerful momentum that will lead you to even better emotions and thoughts before you know it. You'll be receiving inspired impulses that will take you exactly where you want to be. And here's the thing. The universe. The source within you knows exactly where you are in relation to everything you want. He knows precisely the path of least resistance to get there. But you have to meet it midway by aligning your cell, F with a vibration of least resistance. And in doing so, you'll be amazed at how smart and thoughtful the non-physical is. He knows you intimately and will guide you every step of the way. And the best part, it is the journey itself as you let go of resistance and embrace more and more of what is good for you, you will experience more joy, more freedom, and more love than you ever thought possible. Sometimes we get so caught up in our wishes that we forget to appreciate the process of getting there, that is why it's important to release the resistance and enjoy every step of the way as you let go of the negative thoughts and focus on the things that feel good, more and more positive emotions will flood into your life. The universe will respond to your high vibration by sending you impulses and ideas that lead you towards your dreams. And guess what? The journey is the destination when you allow yourself to have fun and be in the present moment. Life becomes a joyful adventure. Every day will bring new and exciting opportunities that will expand your horizons and enrich your soul. Challenges will be fun, because you'll be eager to see what you can learn from them. You don't have to wait until you reach your destination to be happy. Ness is a state of mind that you can choose to experience right now on the way to where you want to be. Is It's like going on a vacation. You don't go just to arrive at the final destination, but to enjoy the journey and all the wonderful experiences it brings in the ow. A best part is that the journey never ends. Even when you achieve your goals, there will always be more to discover, more to learn, and more to enjoy. So don't worry about what comes next. Just trust that the universe has your back and enjoy the ride. Don't let nothing stop you from having fun in the present moment. The journey of life is a beautiful and fulfilling experience that we are all blessed to embark upon. Every one of us came into this physical world with a desire to experience the fullness of what life has to offer and not a single one of you. S intended to struggle or deprive ourselves in any way, as we understand and practice the principles of alignment and abundance, we realize that life can be a wonderful and harmonious journey. We learn to let go of resistance and focus on the things that feel good to us by doing. So we open ourselves up to receive more positive emotions, powerful thoughts, and fulfilling experiences. We are all powerful beings with an infinite capacity for joy, love, and abundance as we align ourselves with our inner bay. Nung in our desires, we allow the wholeness of who we are to flow through every aspect of our lives. We become aware that there is no broken world to fix, but only the desire to create more beauty and goodness in our own lives and the world around us. With this knowledge, we can make every moment of our lives a joyful and fulfilling experience. We can focus on the things that excite us, the things that bring us joy, and the things that make us feel alive. And as we do, we create a powerful momentum of posai activity and abundance that flows effortlessly into every aspect of our lives. Let us be grateful for this beautiful journey of life, and let us make every moment count. Let us embrace the fullness of who we are and all that we desire, knowing that the universe is always conspiring in our favor. So take action today. Focus on what feels good, and let the universe take care of the rest. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with someone who could benefit it from it and leave a comment below about your experience with manifesting your desires. Thank you for watching and joining me.